I mean, any life saved is, you know, monumental, I think. Part of that fight is ensuring that people have access to medication abortion pills, like, because self-managed abortion through medication abortion is really safe. Today, the abortion debate took center stage both outside and inside the Supreme Court as justices heard arguments on Mississippi's 15-week abortion ban. Analysts believe the conservative majority is leaning toward upholding the ban. And here in Chicago, protesters also took to Federal Plaza to express their views. Elizabeth Matthews is live now with that story. Elizabeth. Law. It wouldn't make abortions illegal, but it would give the green light for other states to follow Mississippi's lead. Abortion is health care, and health care is a right. And we're going to pray that the Supreme Court makes the correct, courageous, holy decision. Demonstrators supporting both sides of the abortion issue gathering at Federal Plaza on Wednesday. If we truly want equality, if we truly want justice in this country, all those who do, I encourage you to join us. I have never been so frightened or so furious. The Supreme Court seems prepared to disregard 50 years of settled law. Doesn't the history of this court's practice with respect to those cases tell us that the right answer is actually to return to the position of neutrality and, uh, and um, not stick with those precedents in the same way that all those other cases didn't. The Supreme Court heard oral arguments about a Mississippi case that would ban abortion after 15 weeks, as opposed to Roe v. Wade, which banned abortions after 24 weeks. The Supreme Court is six to three conservative, the last three appointed by former President Trump. It's clear that, that this case was made because the new justice is there. What's it going to do to the long-term legitimacy of the court as a whole? Will this institution survive the stench that this creates in the public perception that the Constitution and its reading are just political acts. The Supreme Court's decision on this Mississippi law on this case is expected to come down in the summer. A March for Life rally is scheduled for January 8th. Going on, back to you.